Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to solve one very interesting question from algebra. We have to solve this quadratic equation. So let's get started straight away. I will simplify square root 20, square root 45, square root 80. So we know that square root 20 can be written as square root of 4 times 5. Now this 4 will come out from this square root as 2. So this will be equal to 2 root 5. Similarly root 45 we can write radicant factor as 9 times 5. This 9 will come out as 3. So this will be 3 root 5. Similarly square root 80 can be written as square root of 16 times 5. This 16 will come out as 4. So we can write 4 square root 5 will be our square root 80. So I will write our equation x plus square root 5 times x plus 2 square root 5 times x plus 3 square root 5 times x plus 4 square root 5 equal to 200. Now I will multiply first and last bracket. So x plus root 5 times x plus 4 square root 5 all together. And second and second last bracket x plus 2 square root 5 and x plus 3 square root 5 all together equal to 200. Let's multiply. So x times x will get x square x times 4 root 5 is 4x root 5, x times root 5 is x root 5. So addition will be 5 is square root 5x plus root 5 times 4 root 5, 20. Here we will multiply and get x is square plus 5 is square root 5 times x plus 2 root 5 times 3 root 5, 30 equal to 200. Now you can see x square plus 5 root 5x, x square plus 5 root 5x. We can replace with our other variable. I will write here x square plus 5 root 5x plus 20 times x square plus 5 root 5 x plus 30 equal to 200. Let us consider x square plus 5 square root 5 x equal to a. So I will get our equation in a, a plus 20 times a plus 30 equal to 200. Let's expand. a square plus 30a plus 20a, 50a plus 20 times 30, 600 equal to 200. Now we will take this 200 to LHS. We will get a square plus 50a plus 400 equal to 0. Now we have to solve this quadratic equation and I will use method of factorization. Remember x square plus 5 root 5x is our substitution a. So we have to solve quadratic a square plus 50a plus 400 equal to 0. Now I can see the factors of 400 40 times 10. And if I will add both, then I will be getting 50. So we can split our middle term 50a as 10a plus 40a. Overall, this is 50a plus 400 equal to 0. Now from first two terms, we can take a common out. So in bracket, we will get a plus 10. 
from last two terms we can take 40 common so in the bracket we will have a plus 10 rhs is 0 so we have a plus 10 overall common times a plus 40 equal to 0 from zero product rule we can write either a plus 10 will be 0 or a plus 40 will be 0. So from first equation we will get a equal to negative 10 and from second equation we will be getting a equal to negative 40, negative 10 and negative 40 where a is x square plus 5 square root 5x. Let us solve two quadratic equations. I will write x square plus 5 square root 5x equal to negative 10 and x square plus 5 square root 5x equal to negative 40. Take all the terms to LHS, we will get x square plus 5 square root 5x plus 10 equal to 0. So this is our quadratic equation. From second equation, x square plus 5 square root 5 times x plus 40 equal to 0. Now we will be solving second quadratic equation also. So let's begin with the first quadratic. I will use quadratic formula. So let me write that formula minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times ac over 2 times a. As per our equation, a is coefficient of x square, so 1 b is coefficient of x so 5 root 5 c is constant 10 let's apply all the values so i will write minus 5 root 5 plus minus the square root of 5 root 5 whole square minus 4 times 1 times 10 over 2 times 1 which will give us minus 5 root 5 plus minus a square root of 5 a square is 25 root 5 a square is 5 25 times 5 is 125 minus 4 times 10 40 over 2 or i can write minus 5 a square root 5 plus minus square root of 85 over 2. Let me write here minus 5 square root 5 plus minus square root 85 over 2. Now we can see or we can write 85 as 17 times 5. So I will write minus 5 square root 5 plus minus square root 17 times square root 5 over 2. Now we can take square root 5 common from the numerator. So we will get minus 5 plus minus square root 17 over 2. So here we have two real solutions root 5 over 2 times minus 5 plus minus square root 17. Now we have to solve our second quadratic equation. Let me write here x square plus 5 square root 5 times x plus 40 equal to 0. As per equation a is 1 b is 5 root 5 and c is 40. Let's apply the formula. So I will write x will be equal to 
minus b so minus 5 square root 5 plus minus square root of b square again it would be 125 square of 5 root 5 then we have minus 4 times 1 times 40 so this will give us minus 160 over 2 times a so 2 which will be equal to minus 5 is square root 5 plus minus is square root of minus 35 over 2. Now I can write here minus 5 root 5 plus minus is square root of minus 1 times is square root of 5 times is square root of 7 over 2. Now we know that square root of minus 1 is complex number i. So I can write minus 5 square root 5 plus minus i times square root 5 times square root 7 over 2. So we are getting two complex solutions also. Let me write here root 5 is common over 2 in bracket minus 5 plus minus i times square root 7. So two real and two complex solutions. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.